is upon us in Alberta. It's early November 2017 and we just got a huge uh, snowfall earlier this week and uh, so basically it's oh, it's probably about minus 10 degrees Celsius outside so it's full-blown winter. Um, we've had about three four days of consistent snow to kick off November just after Halloween. So since winter's upon us, I want to talk to everyone who is a little more fortunate than us and they get winter a little later, uh, who may be shopping for winter tires for their vehicle. Um, these tires that I want to talk about today, if you haven't seen the title of the video, are DF Goodrich All-Terrain TAKO2s. And specifically this truck is a 2011 Ford F-150. Uh, these are 275-65-18 range tires so they're 10 ply tires I've had these tires on the truck for about the last 10,000 kilometers or so uh, so they're still pretty brand new that's about 6,000 miles or so for uh, for my American friends so they're still pretty brand new um, there's there's not a whole lot of wear on them at all uh, I did a, a, a tread depth test and it's uh, they're pretty much brand new still so um, you know, this video is not going to be any instrumented tests or anything. It's just going to be me with years of winter driving experience talking about tires and what I think of them. Um, because I've done a lot of winter driving in my time. I've driven in a lot of crappy conditions. So um, we're just going to go for a little cruise today. And um, you know, I'm going to tell you about my opinion on these tires. Not only on dry pavement, but on snow as well. So these tires uh, in Canada were about... $1,200 installed. I didn't personally put them on the truck. The truck came with them when I bought the truck. They were brand new when I got the truck. So uh, the, the, sir, the work order for the tires was to the tune of about $1,200 mounted and balanced on the truck. Maybe a little bit different in the States. May not be. I don't know. But that's what I know uh, they cost here in Canada. So I've had experience with these on dry pavement. Um, on the highway in town and now I have experience uh, with them on the snow as well um, so I've kind of got a well-rounded opinion of them uh, and how they handle all conditions on dry pavement these are these, they're, they're pretty good tires like you won't hear them uh, they don't make a whole lot of noise at all uh, just a, like a tiny little bit of like a hum almost at highway speeds but you don't really hear it at all uh, Fundamentally, they are very quiet for being as aggressive as they look. Uh, I had a set of Toyo All-Terrain 2s, uh, Extreme Tread, on a previous truck. I actually have a video on those on my channel if you want to go check it out. Uh, those were quite quite a bit louder on the highway than these, so um, these are a lot quieter for sure. Ride quality is pretty good. Uh, I've never driven this truck on stock tires, but uh, I have driven other trucks of this sort of generation on stock tires and uh, and they they ride about the same as this so uh, this truck rides pretty good with these tires no complaints there at all the only complaint that I have with the the performance of these on dry pavement is uh, they're quite heavy especially being load range E the 10 ply tires so you're gonna see a huge well not huge but a substantial fuel mileage difference uh, over factory P rated tires which is to be expected because these these tires these 275 65 18s are uh, about 45 to 47 pounds per tire which is about five to seven pounds heavier than a regular tire so we're cruising along on dry pavement pretty much here there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of you know blown blowing over snow over the, the center line there but uh, we're gonna go find some kind of ice and snow out on some back roads and uh, and I'm gonna give you kind of my opinion on these the performance of these we're gonna do like some braking tests and uh, acceleration tests and two in four and four-wheel drive uh, and I'll kind of give you my opinion on them so we're gonna find some uh, back roads and uh, put these tires to the test a little bit I want to find some I mean most of the roads that I'm gonna find are plowed but not treated um, with gravel or anything like that so it'll be a decent test now I can tell you uh, just from my experience with these is that they are not so great on ice uh, so if you're on glare ice of course they're not as good as a studded or a solid winter tire because they are a fairly hard compound you know being an e-rated tire so uh, they're not fantastic on ice for sure Corner here, 40 kilometers. 
kilometers an hour accelerating and uh, not getting a whole lot of slippage uh, at all actually the traction control didn't kick in or anything like that so decent grip on snow that's for sure so right now I'm doing about 60 kilometers an hour on a kind of light snow covered road and I'm just gonna stomp on the brakes that took a while <laughs> and taking off is not really an issue um, getting really good traction from the rear end in two-wheel drive just accelerating normally no slippage but definitely stomping on the brakes uh, is uh, is definitely gonna make the uh, the truck slip for a while Pulling up to the uh, neighborhood here traction though definitely not uh, slip sliding all over the road like I've still got pretty good control of my truck you know, if I'm turning like this I'm still getting pretty good traction and these are plowed but not treated roads there's no gravel or salt or anything on them typically the type of road you're gonna encounter in the winter lots Lots of traction, I'm impressed. mailbox here there seems to be a little bit deeper snow and we're gonna see if we can get this truck stuck <laughs> so I'm in two-wheel drive digging into this snow here actually it's fairly deep two-wheel drive trying to dig out not touching four-wheel drive Didn't need four-wheel drive to get out of that. I was really surprised, actually. That was quite a bit of snow. I mean, of course, if you have four-wheel drive, that's awesome. But I didn't. Uh, I did. My truck was in two-wheel drive. My uh, it's not a lim it's not a locking differential in this truck. It's a limited slip, and uh, did not need four-wheel drive to get out of that. I was really surprised, and that was fairly deep snow. So pretty impressed so far. Getting up to highway speeds here. So we're gonna do a little road noise test. Again, I don't have any decibel readers or anything crazy like that. It's just all kind of my personal opinion. Just getting up to 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles an hour. If you are an American.
So, in conclusion, I, uh, I'm definitely impressed by the, uh, the BF Goodrich AT KO2, or sorry, TA KO2. Um, they have not disappointed. Like I said, the only thing you gotta watch is they are not so great on ice. Um, I've had them on glare ice and they can be a little bit scary. So if you're looking for something like on an ice road or whatever, get some studded proper uh, winter tires. Uh, but for an everyday four season tire that you can use on off road in the snow, it's 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 hard to it's hard to go wrong in any category with the, uh, the KO2s. They're a great tire, definitely worth the money. So I hope this video was informative for you guys. Uh, if it was, please like, subscribe, comment, share. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you out in the comments section below. So thanks very much and have a great day.